for November the 27th through December the 3rd. Um, this is a general reading, Leo, so if you would like a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, also, I've come out with this new one car, uh, not one, one question reading, um, and it's conducted by email, and you get a picture of the spread and a description of the answer and, and interpretation of the answer. And uh, that's only $15. That information will be below. I just wanted to make a reading or, you know, for at least people who are going through something that needs specific information. So um, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. That information will be below. And this is for your sun, moon and rising. So the uh, links to the other videos will be below. Give me a minute. Sometimes it takes me a while to get that up. Now, on Monday the 27th, I will be doing a live feed um, to announce the winners of the giveaway. Um, so we'll be doing that live on camera. Um, so please tune in. It'll be, I'm not sure what time, late afternoon, early evening. I say between four and six, but probably four or five, something like that. Um, keep the bell on, uh, click the bell that's on my uh, YouTube page so you'll get notified of that and then we can have a chat lovely a live chat it's the first time I'll go live um, so what else uh, that's it I think so let's go to your cards Leo so the first card we've got is the nine of swords that I feel that you're really stressed and, I, and I'm looking at the other cards this is like you know, um, a highly stressful card. It's like lack of sleep. Sometimes it's called the drama queen card. It's like, you know, you are really, I feel that you're really stressed out. Um, and underneath that is the ace of water. And I have a feeling that you are stressed out, Leo, because something new is happening. Like there's a major change, something You've had this, uh, and well, I'm, look, I'm looking down at the cards and it's hard not to be distracted because you have three nights. So something is happening like really fast. I feel like you could be moving. Uh, you could be moving home. You could be moving a job. You could be, go I mean, you, you've got the Knight of Swords and underneath the Knight of Swords, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, right? So... You've got the ace of, of cups underneath the nine of swords. So I have a feeling that this new, whatever this is, is giving you stress, right? And you're not sleeping because you're worried, you know, that you're not going to be able to get all this done in time, whatever it is that you have to do. Now, so the knight of swords is like the champion for justice, right? And he's right like going in with his sword, you know, aloft and he's like quick to judge so and it's cerebral and intellect and then you've got the knight of so he's very fast moving and this guy the knight of pentacles is um oh no sorry this is the knight of chalices okay um this can be new love <laughs> this is emotional this is cerebral, this is mental, and ideas, quick ideas, and then you've got this emotion. I feel that you are in, and then you've got, oh gosh, I'm like, wow, things are really happening fast for you, Leo, this week. Um, the underlining message for your, I'm going to do this first before I go to the other cards, right, is the five of fire, and look at that pretty card. I love this deck. Um, this is this is about teamwork, right? This is working with a team. Don't try to do it all yourself. This is about collaborate. This is about being open to hearing other people's opinions and doing something in a perhaps a different way. But it's really about being open. And it's also about working with people that are very different from you. So it's it's, it, you know, it, 
there's definitely crossover here with cancer with this FYI so you might want to check check out cancer if that's any of your you know rising or moon sign or um, or your sun sign so you might want to check that out but okay so I am getting teamwork now I'm also getting teamwork for you've got the seven of wands now this is about this is about being a team player, but not being a doormat and really working with people, but standing your ground too. It's knowing when to bend and when to, you know, make a stand. Um, I have a feeling that you're coming, that you, um, you're not going to have a trouble with this. You're not. You. This is also about... Um, tempering your emotions too, uh, Leo. So when you're a team player, don't kind of lose it. And this is a very stressful time for you. So it's it's very important for you to remain um, calm uh, because this fast energy, there is major change going on here for three nights. And this is saying, your mo uh, listen, movement, movement, movement. I, so you must be moving. You must be moving somewhere or you must be changing jobs or something, but things are happening very fast for you. Um, now, the the Knight of Wands is very passionate and he's like, you know, he comes in usually with a brilliant opportunity. This is a helping hand. You're going to get, so you're going to be helped. I'm getting that you're going to be helped. You're going to be helped by many people and, and it might be a little difficult initially for you to kind of work with them, but you're going to find um, middle ground with them. And and this is like, don't avoid, uh, don't avoid, don't avoid conflict. Don't avoid, uh, what do I want to say? I don't want to say dissent because I don't see dissent here. Um, but what I do see is the differences of opinion sometimes. So it's like, don't avoid that and don't not address it. Um, because I think there's definitely strength in diversity here. That's the, I'm getting that very clearly, the strength in diversity. So somebody may come in with an opinion that you want to completely negate altogether, but don't. Be kind of open to hearing it because it might be helpful and uh, and and guess what you know if they if they come up with a good idea then usually I always say when somebody comes up with a good idea they're in charge of it okay go do it that's what they do in English politics <laughs> that's why Boris was in charge of the uh, exit because he's the one that brought it all up and a uh, brexit I mean so you know they put him in charge of it that's what they do um, I digress. <laughs> I see. Um, okay, so this is being in your head and worrying and stressing. It's like, come out of this. Listen, things are going to move fast. You don't have time to worry. And it's just going to uh, block you. And you need rest during this time. So don't allow this to rotate in your head. Put a stop to it. You know, put a stop to this um, because if you lose sleep, you're not going to be level headed and you want to be level headed. You've got to be able to get enough rest because there's a lot going on. And I don't have to tell you that because, you know, it. you're living it and the cards are definitely saying it. Um, you're going to make this wonderful connection with people who are. Um, going to come in and help. You're going to get the help that you need, uh, Leo. Don't worry. You're going to get the help, you know. And, and you know, it might not be... Sometimes it's not as plain sailing, but it's going to be such an incredible growth for you. And, and you can stay in gratitude as long as you are open to other people's ideas and opinions and, you know, be open and consider them. And perhaps take them on because this is about teamwork. It's about being diplomatic and coming out. And, you know, listen, when we, when we, uh, 
confront without being confrontational, something wonderful happens when, uh, when we come out the other side. It's this wonderful feeling of community and connectedness. And I feel that you really will connect. Um, and, you know, things are moving at a fast pace. So you've got to get on it. Get on it, darling. <laughs> Get some sleep and get working because I think there's a lot for you to do this week. Anyway, Leo, <laughs> you know, listen, this is like a roadmap. It's great to know all this. It's great to be aware that this energy is coming in. It's great to know that, you know, you can stand up for your, you can, you can bend. I want to say bend it like Beckham. <laughs> Or stand your ground when you know that it's something that you... So compromise is okay, but don't compromise at the expense of yourself is what I'm saying. So don't be a doormat. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, please tune into my live feed on Monday and we can have a chat, okay? I love you all. I'll see you next week or I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.